This video is to outline the final project for ME470 Mechatronics of Stephen Eliason and Trent Evans. For our project, we elected to take the ASME RC Baja car and convert it to an adaptive all-wheel steering system. The ASME RC Baja competition is open to engineering students from colleges across the country in which the teams build their own car using some stock parts and then compete in a drag race, a slalom course, and a Baja competition. The cars are built differently depending on the team's idea of the best way to complete these courses. Many parts are stock, including the radio transmitter, receiver, wheels, and motors. However, other parts are required to be manufactured by the team, such as the chassis and the differential. This keeps it creative, and a number of different styles of car result, although few, if any, teams think to modify the brain of the car rather than just the body. The reasons for adapting the car to rear wheel steering are simple. To be better than the competition, to make something that they don't have to better navigate the course. This modification becomes particularly effective in the slalom course in which cones are placed very close together and the car must navigate the, the cones as quickly as possible without hitting any. This means that the cars stable enough to handle the Baja course well are too long to effectively navigate the slalom course and have to take a wider path, whereas a car with rear wheel steering or a much tighter turning circle could navigate the track much more quickly while retaining the benefits of the longer wheelbase afforded by the cars in the other sections of the competition. The result is that navigating the slalom looks a bit less like this and a bit more like this. However, having such a tight turning circle has its drawbacks. If a car is going at high speed and then quickly enters a sharp turn, with the rear wheel steering, the entire car would rotate very quickly and lead to something like this happening. Rollovers are not helpful in winning the competition. So to avoid this, we had to get a little bit more creative with our steering. It wasn't enough to simply mirror the front wheel steering in order to get maximum results. Resultingly, the adaptive system was born. What this means is that when the steering input is applied, at no speed the rear wheels simply mirror the front wheels. But as throttle input increases, the rear wheels straighten out and even eventually steer in parallel to the front wheels, allowing the car to crab or drift while maintaining full traction. This means that the driver is able to steer the car not just with the steering, but with the throttle as well, allowing for more precise inputs and better control over the car at all speeds. It does make for a different driving experience, but with a little bit of adaptation, it makes for a superior one as well. The overall execution of this is fairly simple, even if the a actually putting it in practice is a bit more complicated. It all starts with a signal receiver. This listens for commands from the transmitter, which controls the car. In a normal car, these signals would be transmitted directly to the motor for acceleration and to the front wheels for steering. However, as we need to do something a little bit more complicated with our car, those signals are routed, the throttle directly to the motor, and both the throttle and steering signals are input to the Arduino on pin one and two. These inputs allow the Arduino to take those values and modify them as it sees fit before outputting the correct values to the front and rear ser servos. Now in the case of this project, the front servo is never affected. It simply passes through the Arduino, is read, and then continues on to the front servo like normal, albeit with a small amount of delay that's imperceptible to the user, but keeps it in time with the rear wheel steering. The rear wheel steering, however, takes the values from both the throttle and the front wheel input, runs it through a function, which function enables it to be proportioned correctly for the amount of speed the car is currently traveling at. This means the car can have the right amount of rear steering and counter steer to, to function at any speed. Generating this function was key to making the whole system work. It started with a few known points, complete counter steer at no speed, at higher speed, completely straight, and at extremely high speed, a small amount of parallel steer up to about 15 degrees. From those points, so a bit of testing was required, circles were run in, to see just how much counter steer was best at different speeds. With that in mind, those points were entered into Mathematica and a lot of function modeling was taking place. We finally settled on a fifth order function. With that function embedded in our Arduino code, it was fairly straightforward to make the car go straight and turn very quickly. It meant for an extremely tight turning circle and an extremely effective performance at the ASME RC Baja competition. The combined and adaptive abilities of the rear wheel steering system meant that the drivers could have more stability have no fear of rollover, extremely tight turning speeds, and have extremely good results.